In the summer of 1994, 35 years after Pat had graduated from New York Seminary, he returned to Manhattan with Operation Blessing and kicked off a coast-to-coast -coast thrust to feed America's hungry. We need you praying because we need people to help in this effort all over the nation. And among, among other things, we need churches because what I want people to do, I want the church to be the leader in the community. The compassion was real. This was not simply a, a tricking people into being interested in hearing the gospel by giving them things. Mm -hmm. It was a care and a love for people. And of course, that's a, a masterful uh, testimony to the way Jesus is, the heart of God is. Pat started Operation Blessing in 1978 after reading the scriptures in Isaiah about caring for the poor. Those early outreaches included meals for the hungry, blankets for the homeless, and groceries to feed families in crisis. By 1983, Operation Blessing was a nationally recognized charity. That's what's happening with CBN and the 700 Club's Operation Blessing. They've given nearly two and a half million dollars to more than 8,500 churches. And this money is then matched by the local churches. And the result has been fantastic. We worked on God's faithfulness. So it wasn't like we had this huge store of resources that we drew from. It was like God led us step by step. The need for staple foods like brown rice led to distribution projects in suffering and remote areas. We are terribly impressed by this project of yours. And I, I think that a lot of people assume, you know, that there are no more hungry people in this country, and that's just not so. Terry Mewson, co-host of the 700 Club, first shared in Operation Blessing's hunger relief convoys more than two decades ago. And I mean, to this day, tons of food every month go out across this country to hungry families. When there's disaster, relief needed. I mean, OB is first on the spot and last to leave. And he is the one who was the catalyst for all of that, the one saying, get the job done. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Oh, bless your heart. You know, it's my privilege and joy. I can tell you, when you look at that line and see those people taking away that food, uh, they know they're blessed. Sure. They know they have been uh, touched by the hand of God. I've been on medical missions trips and seen cleft palates repaired and hearts repaired and you know we've done all kinds of eye surgeries for people who'd lost their vision so that was quite amazing and that's been fairly low profile in his ministry in many people's minds but mm -hmm. it, globally it has been powerfully impacting would you like me to pray for you in jesus name what happened to all operation blessing international's president gordon robertson sees an even wider outreach to those in need now one of the most trusted charities in the world, Operation Blessing International has touched the lives of millions of people in over 90 countries and in every state, providing disaster relief, medical aid, clean water, and community development, all with the love of Jesus Christ. And with God's help, we are looking ahead to do even more because the best is yet to come.